Hi guys and welcome back to our video tutorials. This is the last video for this year and we have two surprises for you as well. The second one you will heard at the end of the video, but the first one you will see right now. Hi guys, my name is Olga, but Bogdan called me a surprise. Yeah. And from now on I will be here with Alexander, who you all know very well, uh, filming these video tutorials for you. Today we have uh, a video to show you how you can use our option follow table filtering. So Alexander, let us dive right in. Okay. Um, basically, you have a table, you have a chart and you want that chart to follow the filtering of the table. So uh, we have a table prepared, which is the ex revenues versus expenses table. Basically, it has products, revenue and expenses. Then we create a chart. Uh, here, here it is right here. So this is the same wizard that you guys would use to create a new chart. So I will just go through it. So you select the uh, engine, the chart type, hit next, create a chart from this table. And then on the next screen, you select the columns that you want to use and you enable follow table filtering. So on the next page, you get to see your chart. And here we actually changed one of these um, to be a line chart and the other one is a column chart. You can do that in here. So under series, just change the type to be column if you want a chart to look like this. So when you save the chart, you get the short code and you add it to the page. So up here, we have a chart and the table and currently it does not filter the chart based on the table. So we refresh the page and we can actually see the chart that is displaying all these values in here. But when we filter the table, we can only see one value. So we add headphones. So two values appear in the chart and so on. This also works for sorting. So if you change the sorting, the chart will also change. One thing to note, for this to work, both the chart and the table need to be on the same page. There is, of course, a trick to hide the table, but leave only the chart and the uh, filter. But for that, we'll need you guys to um, open a ticket on our official platform and we will help you out with that. Uh, one more thing that is worth mentioning is that we currently have a Christmas and New Year's sale. So it's 30% off for every license of WP data tables and every license of our add-ons, which you can see right here. And basically that's it. Thank you, Alexander. You're welcome. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out our Christmas sale that is going on right now. And if you have any other requests for any video tutorials or any other comments, make sure to leave them below the video. And while you're there, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and see you in a couple of weeks. Happy holidays. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.